deterministically combating deepfake AI using blockchain and cryptography. Deepfake AI allows anyone with a computer to create instant videos of anyone, including CEOs, heads of states, and presidents. It's time to explore the cryptographic solutions on the cards. Tufi Saliba, Toda.network. All right, uh, how many of you are familiar with the deep fake? Please raise your hand. All right, um, about 13.7%. The remaining, um, deep fake is the ability to uh, use an AI uh, software and have uh, a video camera to film you while the output can look like Donald Trump saying certain things. So you can say whatever you want. And on the output, it would be Donald Trump saying it. So you can say, we're launching nuclear um, weapon on North Korea. And that's what Donald Trump ends up saying. Um, effectively, you can create a lot of uh, chaos across the globe because uh, if folks they have the ability to send those messages across, even if you have a probabilistic method to shut this down, uh, so let's say 99% accurate, that 1% uh, you know, can become a little bit scared or whatnot, so it can create a lot of uh, issues. So uh, perhaps we can use uh, cryptography to stop that uh, in a deterministic way, and we've seen that uh, done in uh, a hackathon. So what I'm going to talk about is not a company, it's actually a project that two uh, you know, gentlemen came to a hackathon that uh, they were building on top of uh, Toda Network in um, Silicon Valley, and at the time they wanted to solve this problem. Uh, so previously, when using AI to combating AI, um, it was very uh, probabilistic, and this method was uh, deterministic. So I'm going to show you how it uh, actually works, but before getting into that, this talk is not only about deep fake, it's a lot deeper, and um, I'm going to tell you why. So is it Star Wars, or uh, the future is going to be about the crypto or uh, AI wars? Um, why do I say that? many of you soon will realize that you will not be able to prove that you were in a certain place. AI could replicate you, that you are who you say you are, what not. AI will be able to replicate you. And uh, the only thing that can rescue you at the time is going to be cryptography. You'll remember those words. So quick intro, who am I? Uh, my name is Tufi Salibas. I'm involved with all of these organizations and perhaps seven or eight different more. Um, it starts, uh, if you know, with the Toda Network and I'm an author of a protocol, but I also did my term with the ACM, uh, created the AI Decentralized, and soon I'll be making an announcement on IEEE. Um, Another announcement will be coming out in June, which you're the first to hear about it. It's something called the DIA uh, Foundation, which is a decentralized AI alliance. We currently have about 49 companies. If any one of you is doing anything in AI that you want to decentralize it, please join us all for free. There's nothing profit in that. It's all about um, promoting decentralized governance in AI. So how would the uh, deepfake uh, Combating defect uh, worked uh, literally in about 48 hours development as opposed to $500 million in development that did not work. So each and every minute of video, as somebody uh, is making a video, so let's say that's Donald Trump making a video, um, it gets hashed and there's something called temporal coupling where someone else is doing the video and then they both get hashed and they get injected in something called the Merkle tree. Uh, that's called Merkle tree, not the miracle trees. Um, and then uh, effectively, that is a blockchain, but it doesn't necessarily have to be ledger-based blockchain. Uh, so 
Uh, they build that on uh, Tora network over a uh, weekend, and then they have a deterministic uh, solution. So uh, that's that, uh, and effectively, uh, would get, which gets me to tell you what's uh, crypto economics and it's uh, the ability to uh, have cryptography to verify certain things in economics to actually drive a certain uh, behavior. Um, and it's uh, very effective with many people that are working on blockchains and whatnot. Now, fact number one, current blockchain global penetration is less than 0.2%. doesn't matter what are you counting, the people, the money, the applications, the usability, and pfft, less than 0.2%. Will we get to the remaining 99.8%? That is the question. When we look at AI, current AI global penetration is greater than 90%. What's 99.99999% scriptography? The likelihood for blockchain to get to that over the next uh, one or two years is extremely high, so get ready. Um, why am I so convinced of that? Currently, uh, most of blockchains, they rely on something called mining, which was supposed to be intended to each and every one of you to participate in the mining and that was taken away from you. But uh, it's coming back. Uh, there's a period of time where many current miners, they thought I'm the devil, trying to tell them that, hey, there's an existential threat, we're going to take it away from you, giving it back to the people. But uh, luckily, a couple of weeks ago, in New York, I was talking to nine of miners and I made uh, nine new friends that they used to be nine enemies. Um, they realized that there's something that they can make a lot more money by giving it to the remaining 99.8% and it's dividing between the service layer and the dependency layer, um, which is a provable model that we're able to give it to them. So um, there's something that everybody sees on the screen here. There's a tiny little dot above that uh, data center that dot, it says 0.2%. That represents all, everything that is actually blockchain globally. You can't see it, and the world will not be able to see you if we're going to remain in that, you know, trying to take away from people. We want to give it back to the people. There's something in nature. How many of you are familiar with Alveolus Capillary Protocol? Please raise a hand. Great, no doctors in the room. I get to BS my way through this. Alveolus Capillary Protocol is a protocol that is responsible, as you hear my words right now, to effectively conduct trillions of exchanges per second inside your lungs as you hear those words. And the way it happens in a fully decentralized setting. We can learn a lot from nature. There, it doesn't matter what you do, you cannot stop that from doing what it's supposed to do. So think of the government is, let's say, the brain and the people are doing exchanges. When it comes to value, we need to bring value, same as oxygen, to people. And cryptography is there to ensure that that's going to happen. So you don't get exploitations like what was happening in Venezuela or other places in the world where uh, certain elements that they were built to give service to the people, like money, they're being used as methods to control the people. And AI is uh, one of those examples that they're going that way. But we need to change that, and we are able to change that because we were having phenomenal luck, having fantastic people working in governments or whatnot to make this happen. We want to get to the complete decentralization. No servers, no cloud, no database, no miners, all machines, same class. If you walk, if you talk, you will have a vote, whether you like it or not, and that vote is in security, not in other things. Security is extremely important, and that's where we get security from. I'm not going to geek it out, but I can tell you what's the most efficient and successful way of killing cancer. You just kill the host. Let's not kill the host. Please stay in touch. If you have LinkedIn, you can scan that thing. Any questions, anytime, let me know. Thank you very much.